So now that you've made sure that your uh, tech setup is all done correctly, you can move on to the fun part, which is actually creating, optimizing your email campaigns. So in this section, we'll cover email account warm-up, finding very fine leads, writing copies, and then also launching and scaling campaigns. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is warm up your email accounts and domains. And what email warm up is, is basically just uh, a system mimicking human conversations between email accounts. So you can think of it as uh, you sending emails back and forth with a friend, opening them, replying to them, but this is all being automated. Um, so what this does, it shows all the email providers that your emails uh, are getting opens, they're getting replies. So this must be a legitimate sender sending out valuable stuff. And thus also for other people, your emails should be landing in the inbox um, as well. So uh, here's an example of what a typical warm-up email looks like. So I zoom in, hopefully you can see it. Uh, so it's just, hi Rayo, I just want to give you a quick heads up that I may be reaching out to you soon to talk about a new opportunity. So basically it's just uh, AI written content that mimics human conversations. And uh, the way you can tell it's a warm-up email is by the IWE at the end of the subject line, which will be added every single time. So you can actually tell that these aren't real people sending out real emails. So now let's cover the default settings for warm-up. So what you want to do with a fresh account is just enable warm-up and keep the settings on default, which is uh, increase per day is one. So this is how it ramps up your emails to this daily maximum limit which is 20 for the default so it starts at one next day it will send two three so forth and a reply rate of 30 percent so some people might ask why isn't this higher so this is the industry average of what legitimate emails get uh, no one gets 100 percent open rate uh, reply rate because that's just uh, not realistic so 30 is like the sweet spot um so yeah uh, that's how you basically want to do it um yeah now let's cover the advanced settings that we have um so there's two things you can choose is read emulation and warm custom tracking domain uh, you want to enable both of these and as a final thing we have a random email range which will be coming out soon where you can actually randomize the amount of uh, warm-up emails that go out per day so it's not the same number uh, each day that you set in the settings above so uh what read emulation does to quickly cover this is it uh, automatically spends time looking through the warm-up emails, mimicking human behavior again, like actually scrolling, actually keeping it open. And what warm custom tracking domain does, it adds your custom tracking domain into your warm-up emails. So also that will be warmed up. And uh, basically email providers will see that emails that have this custom tracking domain in them also get opens and replies. So that custom tracking domain being in the email is uh, is completely fine. And um, so, yeah, let's cover how to properly warm up your sending accounts. So basically, I will zoom in again. But if you go into instantly for each of your account, you will have this flame icon next to it. And if you just click on it, it will turn green. And what that means is that warm up is enabled. And if you haven't changed any settings, um, the warm up uh, default settings will be applied. And that's basically what you want for your uh, fresh domains. Uh, so, yeah, how long should you be warming up? So. The recommended minimum amount is for fresh domains and accounts to be warmed up for at least two weeks. But if you can and have the extra time, uh, you should uh, warm them up for a bit longer. So like four weeks is, uh, is, is, is sometimes even better. And uh, a good rule of thumb to keep in mind is a 50-50 balance between your cold emails and warm up emails. So once you've done the warm up, you're ready to send out emails. What you can do is send exact same amount of cold emails that you have warm-up emails. So basically the reasoning behind this, this uh, is that your cold emails basically hurt your sending reputation because these are cold outreach. Some people might report them. They might end up in spam. And warm-up, on the other hand, uh, will always be getting replies and opens. So this will like, kind of build back your sending reputation. So these are always like counteracting forces and having them balanced is, is a really good idea. So basically I have to cover up cover this quickly for fresh accounts you want to warm up for at least two weeks uh, then start sending slowly uh, if you have the extra time you can warm up for longer it can be even better and 
yeah, that's pretty much it for warm up. So next we'll cover uh, finding and verifying leads.